in early or mild idiopathic Parkinson's disease, gait dysfunction or postural instability is not typically a major source of disability in the patient. However, there can be subtle symptoms that the patient picks up uh, or signs that the, that the examiner can pick up on examination. One of the earliest signs of Parkinsonian gait on exam is the decreased arm swing. Um, as with the other features of Parkinson's disease or idiopathic Parkinson's disease, it typically presents asymmetrically. So where one arm might swing quite normally, the other one might have a subtle decrease in the amplitude of the arm swing, or if more significant, maybe tend to be held in a flexed posture, flexed at the elbow. Um, another early sign of uh, park in the Parkinsonian gait is the classic stooped posture where the neck and trunk tend to be flexed forward. Patients also describe a problem with their steps, sometimes even early in the disease process. Uh, they can describe this as catching their foot on when stepping up on a curve or a step, or maybe a subtle dragging of one foot over the other. Um, this can be picked up on an exam with decreased stride length, step to step, uh, versus normal individuals but can also, when more significant or even severe, manifest as the classic Parkinsonian shuffling gait with each foot dragging on the floor, not having the good stride length or picking it up, clearing the floor well. This first patient has an almost normal gait. You can see the rest tremor in the right arm. However, his stride length is normal, as is his arm swing. He only has minimally stooped posture. The second patient has more significantly stooped posture and a decreased arm swing on the right. However, his arm swing on the left and his stride length are quite normal. This third patient has decreased arm, arm swing bilaterally. Uh, she has much more decreased stride length uh, and you can see here the turning on block. This last patient has more significantly decreased arm swing and stride length but again is walking with little difficulty.